some of these are glitches and some are uh, one we're just going we're, we're going to fix a problem that some people have okay so uh, the first one we're going to do is the common stair glitch this is what happens it happens from copying and pasting sometimes if you copy and you turn it and you paste it or if you're uh, sometimes it does it when the when the servers are updated these are just common block stairs why it does it I'm not too sure um, there's uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your stairs anything that's normally a block anyway and you're just going to reset them I'm gonna get my paint color back to my stair color and I'm going to use my add tool and re-add it back just like that quick fix easy fix don't know why it does it you'll find them also um, where the wall meets the floor sometimes even if they're it's if it's all squared off nice and squared off you'll get them just replace the, the just do a replace like that fixes it right up this is a secondary problem here um, this is where a wall and you'll see it here and back here where a wall meets a floor it's also up here you'll get these glitches where the wall meets the floor it's not a bad glitch um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to use your select tool and you're going to select it at block two higher two spots higher than your glitch you're going to control C control V or copy and paste you reset it there go down click it on where the glitch is and on the one below and because this glitch affects the other side we're also going to do one more down from that because the side on the side needs it see you have the same problem here you go up to two like that control C control V line it up put it on top oops sorry that one wasn't lined up put it on it and on the one below it same here put it onto the glitch and on the one below the glitch that's in the floor then you could just go in and paint paint them back in and you can do that um, for all of this here Oops. Don't worry, sometimes it will cause a glitch um, when you're replacing it. And it's the reason why you have to do the one down from it too, because it will actually glitch out the one beside it sometimes. And it fixed it under. 
and you got a few on this side you'll do the same thing with it works the same way with those up there on the top as well basically you're just replacing it if you replaced if you selected all of it and replaced it you have a chance of jagging your floor out it's the reason why you actually have to do fix it one block at a time um, this is the most common one that I tend to find after the stair glitch uh, the stair glitch is the most common it why it happens I don't know but it happens a lot this one happens more often because um, when you put the wall in if you not understanding exactly what everything's doing it will it will do that generally when I put in a curve I set the first one into the floor and then build from there um, because that aligns that floor for you and if you set it first into the floor and then above it you don't get the jags like that because they're all set um, the edges are already set here's another spot where you can do your add to repair and it, it messed that up but we can fix that too line tool issue what I selected here. There. Hmm. That is a different problem. Okay, this one here. I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, you see it is not even on the top so we're going to line tool this and put it back in because we need the top and the bottom to line up fixes that problem right there okay now this happens quite often uh, you make a circle and it's um, you want it smooth and it's a little jaggy so we're gonna take the circle this is a one voxel width circle Copy it. We're going to bring it over here to work on it. You're going to copy it down. You're going to move it over. Copy it down again. Move it over. Copy it down again. Now you need to make sure you have these spaces between them because they'll jack each other out if you don't. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your line tool you're going to go on this one side and you're going to keep increasing the size using your scroll until you get to the size of the circle here and you're going to do line click on it once and then come to the other side make sure it's lined up and click on it again and we're going to do this a few times
Now when you, what you do is you want to look at them all and find the one that you think is the best of the three. I'm going to take this metal one. And select it, you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it right below itself. Because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to give that top edge is right, but the bottom edge is not. And you want to set the bottom edge to the, be the same as the top edge. So you just drop it down one and paste it on. And you're going to select just the top one. Now you have this beautifully smooth circle. And that fixes a little circle problem. And that's a 15 diameter right there. You can do it with any diameter. I just did it with a 15 because um, it's a nice small size, but big enough to really show what's going on. You can actually, if when you if you're making it, um, your circle using a, um, and you can use it, and I think you can do this using all the different circle techniques. I did this with this, the um, pixel circle, and then smoothed it down. Uh, <coughs> and I think I smoothed it uh, eight times instead of seven. That's why it jags out. But it also makes a smoother edge uh, when you get done with it. If you can smooth it down a little bit more, though it jags out on the top and the bottom, the edge ends up being a smoother edge without the warps in it that sometimes come. And you can see, you know, you can see it's a little warpy, but, you know, that's about as smooth as you can get on some, a circle that size. The next problem, we have a wall and a walkway. It's a platform, and we want to put a support beam in. This, um, your line tool, people generally try to do it this way, which you cannot. You cannot make a line tool go one-to-one, -one unless it's just like you can go straight, or you can go, you know, you can do it only in the corner. You can do a one-to-one -one under the corner. But if you're wanting to make it a odd distance or somewhere like that, you could not do it with a one-to-one. -one. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do a two-to-one and repair it, the problem. So we're going to start our support beam right here. And we want to come out. We want to make sure that it's lined up because we want a straight support beam. And it's going to look like that. Oops, that a little. It's a little bit more angled than I wanted. If it gets that jaggy, it's going to be very problematic. So we're going to get one a little bit less jaggy than that, like that. It's still going to be jaggy. Um, it's it's a straight and it's fine, but if you're wanting a one diameter, it's not going to be what you're wanting. So we're going to make this into a one diameter. We're going to copy it. We're going to bring, or actually let's do a control X because we don't want it over there. We're going to bring it out. We're going to select one of these two sides. We're going to copy it out. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get this. It's going to be jaggy on one side. But we're going to do what we did with the circle. We're going to set, we want to set this, the left side, to look like the right side over here. So we're just going to paste it back over. To the right. 
And then we're going to copy out the side, the part that we want, which is this part right here. Now looking at it, and it looks like it has a small jag in the top. You see it's right here, there's a jag right there. I don't want that. Let's see if I can fix that. So we're going to use a line tool to see if we can get this to fix. Oops. Don't want to lose that. Let's try... Sometimes you need to use a smaller line tool, sometimes you need to use a bigger one. You can work on making things a little bit smoother on the edges. Line tools generally really friendly. It can get problematic, but generally it's friendly. Looks like we fixed that, and we can copy it back out. Let's paint it real quick before we do that. There we go. And we copy it, and we can paste it in. There we go. Now if you can see, it jacked just a tad right here. Sometimes it does. Don't worry about it. Just straighten it back out with your line tool. Well, it didn't... Hmm. Looks like a jag, but it's not. You can check sometimes by running down the side here if it's not jagging out. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a doesn't look like a jag because generally that fixes it if it is. Looks more like a shadow. You'll get shadows sometimes. That's caused, you know, by game mechanics. But if it jags out on the side here when you put it back in, just line tool it straight out. Or you can do a, um, a replacement like we did over there. Um, do like that behind there and just replace the blocks back in with your add tool. Straighten it out a little bit. You see it doesn't, well this is a three thick so it doesn't affect the back at all. Your walls need to be three thick. Um, at least two thick. I would never suggest people to make one thick walls though these here are one thick. Generally, one thick walls can be pretty bad. 